most people in Puerto Rico see a toad and they assume it is the common toad. Because the toad is so rare, not many people actually know that the Puerto Rican crested toad exists. I personally think people should look at biodiversity loss as, as a serious concern and it's something happening to all species. And so by saving the Puerto Rican crested toad, you're not just saving a small brown toad, you're saving a very, very unique species found nowhere else in the world. You can't just look at them as being an animal that's far away and doesn't affect you. You have to look at biodiversity loss as, as a whole. We've already reintroduced 300,000, but we need to know if that is the number we need and what the number is per site. So moving forward, we're doing a lot more field research on the species and so will our partners to determine what these numbers are and what it's gonna take for the species to reach sustainable populations. Working for the recovery crested toad for me is a privilege. It's a very quick dip species. It's a, it's a species that tends to hide a lot during the day and during the night just comes out to feed or reproduce. So it's really hard for us to, to make a very safe or sound estimate of the actual population here in Guanica. Guanica is not only important because it's a habitat for the Puerto Rico crested toad, it's also important because it has been recognized as an international biosphere reserve. It's really considered one of the most untouched subtropical dry forests in the world. It is really irreplaceable in terms of uh, recovering this ecosystem uh, if it's not managed appropriately. We started trying to get people interested in, in, in the protection of the karst because there's a lot of aquifers in the karst region and aquifers are critical for drinking water. But then the aquifer was starting to suffer of contamination and many other issues. There was a lot of habitat destruction. That's one of the reasons probably why the crested toad became an endangered species. We had amplexus here of a male and female, and we had a very nice group of tadpoles over here, but they're all already gone, grown up and gone. As humans, we have to realize that at the end, when we try to save everything, it's because we want to save ourselves.